Welcome back boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. In this lesson, we are going to learn about volume. For volume, we are going to learn how to measure number one, hollow box using this one cubic centimeter cubes and then number two, how to measure the volume of liquid using beaker or measuring cylinder and number three, how to measure the volume of irregular shape solid using measuring cylinder and also eureka can but in this lesson we are going to focus on number one how to measure the hollow box first of all we need to know what is the meaning of volume you can refer your textbook okay which vehicle can take more pupils Look here, there are two types of vehicles, a school bus and also a school van. And look at their sizes. A school bus is bigger compared to this school van. A bus can take more people because it is bigger. Therefore, the volume of the bus is greater than the van. Okay, tengok size dia. Bas sekolah lebih besar daripada van sekolah. Bas sekolah boleh membawa lebih ramai murid-murid berbanding van sekolah. Jadi, isi padu bas adalah lebih besar berbanding van. So, what is the meaning of volume? Volume is the amount of a space which can be filled with a solid, liquid, or gas. Volume is the amount of space which can be filled with solid, liquid or gas. Ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu, volume ni ialah isi padu. Isi padu ialah jumlah ruang yang boleh diisi oleh pepejal, cecair ataupun gas. Let's look at another example, okay? The ice cream. Okay, this cup of ice cream can be filled with more ice cream compared to this small cup of ice cream. So, this large cup has larger volume compared to this small cup. Okay, cawan yang besar ni boleh isi lebih banyak ice cream berbanding cawan yang kecil. Jadi, isi padu cawan yang besar ini Okay, lebih besar berbanding cawan yang kecil. Next, you must know what are the units of volume. Volume is measured using measuring tools and is expressed in suitable units. Observe the objects below and their units. Okay. This is a chocolate milk. Okay, sekotak. Susu, the volume of a carton of milk is expressed in milliliter or written as ml. Okay, biasanya bila awak beli air kotak, dekat bawah tu, dia akan tunjuk berapa isi padu. Okay, what is the volume of the milk? Okay, for example here, okay, tengok dekat bawah sekali. Okay, net 250 ml. Okay, 250 milliliter. And then, the volume of a bottle of water is expressed in liter or written as L. Okay, same also. You need to look down here. Okay, net volume, 1 liter. Okay, isi padu, 1 liter. And then, the volume of a water tank is expressed in cubic meter or written as M and this uh, small tree. Okay, cara sebutan dia cubic meter ataupun 
ada juga yang diukur menggunakan unit cubic centimeter. So, the units for volume are milliliter, liter, cubic meter or cubic centimeter. Measuring the volume of hollow boxes. So, these are examples of hollow boxes, okay, or uh, empty boxes, kotak kosong. How do we measure the volume of hollow boxes? And their units are, we can use a cubic centimeter or cubic meter, okay, cubic centimeter or cubic meter. And then, okay, how to measure the volume of hollow boxes? How? Okay, macam mana kita nak ukur? Isi padu kotak kosong ni. What is the volume of this hollow box? Okay, so the length is uh, 2 cm. The width is uh, 2 cm. And the height of this box is uh, 2 cm. So what is the volume of this box? We can measure the volume of hollow boxes using 1 cubic centimeter cubes. So this is 1 cubic centimeter cubes. Okay, the length is 1 centimeter. The width is 1 centimeter and the height also 1 centimeter. The volume of the hollow box is equal to the number of 1 cubic centimeter cubes that fill the hollow space. Okay, berapa jumlah uh, kotak kecil yang diperlukan untuk isi ruang dalam kotak kosong tadi? The box needs 8 1 cubic centimeter cubes to fill the hollow space. Thus, the volume of the hollow box is 8 cubic centimeters. Okay, you need to count how many uh, these uh, cubes, how many cubes that we need to fill in this hollow box. The volume of hollow box, okay, the volume of this hollow box is the amount of space occupied by this one cubic centimeter size cubes. Jadi untuk penuhkan kotak kosong ni kita perlukan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, we need to count how many cubes that we use to fill this hollow space. Okay, kita kena kira berapa bilangan cube yang kita perlukan untuk isi ruang hollow box. Jadi, kita akan dapat volume hollow box. The volume of this hollow box is 8 cubic centimeters. Okay, let's look at other examples. Okay, this box, A box, the length is uh, 3 centimeters. The width is 2 cm and the height of this box is 2 cm. So, what is the volume of this box? The first step, you need to fill the hollow box A with 1 cubic centimeter size cubes. Okay, fill this hollow box with the cubes. And then, number 2. You need to count the number of 1 cubic centimeter size cubes that fill the box completely. Okay, mula-mula isikan sampai penuh. Dan kemudian, awak kena kira berapa cube yang kita guna untuk isikan kotak A. And the last step, okay, we need to record the number. Number of uh, 1 cubic centimeter size cubes use untuk penuhkan ok we can uh, see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ok the first layer we use 6 
and also the second layer also we use a six. Okay, kita boleh agak lah kalau kita tengok kat sini ada dua layer. Okay, two layers. Dua lapisan. Lapisan pertama kita gunakan uh, six cubes. Lapisan kedua pun kita gunakan uh, six cubes. So, the total number of cubes that we use, 12. Okay, 12. So, automatically we get the volume of hollow box in cubic centimeters. Okay, 12 cubic centimeters. Okay, let's try this. Okay. This is empty box. The length is uh, 4 centimeters. Okay, the length is uh, 4 centimeters. The width is 2 centimeters and the height is 3 centimeters. So, the same uh, step. Okay, cara yang sama. Kita isikan. Okay, the first layer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, the first layer we need uh, 8 cubes to fill in ok jadi untuk penuhkan kita perlu 3 layers ok kita kena isikan 3 lapisan sampai penuh ha, ni, dalam ni masih tak penuh lagi kan ha, kita kena isikan sampai penuh and we need to count the number of cubes that we use ok the first layer 8 cubes ok so the second layer also same another 8 cubes and the third layer also another 8 cubes. So the total number of cubes that we use is uh, 8 tambah 8 tambah 8. Okay, sebab lapisan pertama 8 tambah lapisan kedua 8 tambah lapisan ketiga pun 8. Ataupun 8 uh, times 3 kan 8 darab 3 pun sama juga. So we get 24 cubes. So, the volume of this empty box is 24 cubic centimeters. Okay, let's look at another example. What is the volume of this object? Okay. So, we just need to count how many cubes that we use. Okay. The first layer, 1, 2, 3, 4, sebelah uh, ni 4, sebelah side sini pun 4, jadi the first layer, 8, ok, lapisan bawah 8, lapisan atas pun sama, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ok, so 8 plus 8, or 8 times by 2, we will get 16, ok, so this is the volume of this object. 16 cubic centimeters. And then, what about this? Okay. This is uh, very simple. We can uh, directly count. Okay, sebab ada satu layer je. Jadi boleh terus kira. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the volume is 10 cubic centimeters. This is your homework for today, Science Activity Book, page 57 and 58. Page 57. Okay, measuring the volume of hollow boxes. Calculate the volume of each hollow box below by using 1 cm times 1 cm times 1 cm cubes. Okay, 1, 2, 3. There are only uh, 3 equations here. So, you just need to count how many cubes that we use to fill in this hollow box. Awak cuma kena kira berapa cube yang digunakan untuk isi kotak kosong ni. Okay, I give you uh, one example. Okay, number 1. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we use... 6 cubes. Okay, number of cubes use 6. Volume of the hollow box also 6. Okay. Jadi bila kita kira berapa cube yang kita guna, kita terus dapat jawapan. Okay. Dan volume pun jawapan yang sama. 
So you need to count uh, number two and also number three. Next, page uh, 58, methods of measuring volume. Complete the sentences with the correct answers. So here, there are four answers. Measuring cylinder, Eureka can. One cubic centimeter size cube. And two cubic centimeter size cube. Okay, ada jawapan uh, pengganggu di sini ya. Kita cuma guna tiga jawapan je. Satu lagi jawapan tu, uh, kita tak belajar pun kan. Tak ada pun saya sebut tadi tentang two cubic centimeter size cube, right? Okay, we only use uh, this one cubic centimeter size cube. Okay, jadi ada satu jawapan pengganggu di sini. Okay, jangan confuse. Okay, number one. I want to measure the volume of a hollow box. I can use a to find its volume. Okay, we already learned just now how to measure the hollow box. We need to use the one cubic centimeter size cube. And then number two. I want to measure the volume of a drain carton. I can use a to find its volume. Okay, ni awal-awal tadi saya dah sebut. Macam mana, uh, apa yang boleh kita guna untuk ukur volume liquid. Okay. Liquid. We use a measuring cylinder. And then, the last one. I want to measure the volume of a pebble. I can use a and a to find its volume. Okay. This is the irregular shape solid. Okay. Pebble is the irregular shape solid. So, what are the tools that we can use? So, you write your answer. That's all. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again in our next lesson.